the drills have just got back to the farms. What they do now is because I, I, Peter would have changed, he's changed from oats to barley. And Keithy is changing from, oh, I don't know what he was on. Peter's about to load up some seed into his hopper. They'll have to do some calibrations because the rates will all change. Uh, it varies from farm to farm. What are we going on to them, Pete? Barley. And what were you on at Alice's? Oats. Oats. And what, what rate are we doing? Are we uh, 240 kilos an acre. So this morning you'll have to recalibrate the drill? Yeah, no, just what I'm putting this in for. Recalibrate it. Whee. How much can you get in this hopper? Tough. Tough. Is that, two, is that two bags of that? Yeah. Manganese dress. Just with manganese. What does manganese do then? Uh, well, it comes get goes when it comes up, it'll go all yellow because it's lacking manganese. So you can spray manganese onto it to cheer it up, or you can get it dressed in the seed. What are you going on to, Anki? Wheat. You're going on to the wheat. Yeah. I'll just show you how this thing works because it's a hell of a contraption. Got a fan on the front. This is the metering system. All the seed goes in here. Most farmers will know this, but this is for the people who don't. The fan turns on, blows the seed up through the pipe, all the way along the side here, down the pipe, and it comes up into this umbrella thing. This all folds out. This is the drill, and this is a power harrow in front of the drill. So this is going to knock down the uh, the plowing. It's going to smash it all up into a nice seed bed. Then it firms up, firms it up with the roller, and then the drill is a, I think it's a cultivator drill as well so it gets another another bashing down as well all the seed comes up into the mushroom at the top there down the pipes and out the back here so these go in the ground first seed comes out here and then you've got a set of tines on the back which cover the seed over so you've got a well in theory you've got a nice uh, seed bed for your seed yeah it's on the 8s it's on 900 tires um, but it's still hell of a hell of a thing and uh, it weighs an absolute ton. Well, in theory, what you're doing is cutting out another pass on the field uh, because I would have to go out there with the power harrow, leave another set of wheelings. Then Keithy would come out with a drill and put another set of wheelings in. So in theory, you're only putting one set of wheelings out there. So it should mash down nice and leave a nice job. This germinated really well, this stuff, didn't it? Lynn done one. I think it's like 9900 percent really. Yeah. This is the wheat, it's not dressed, undressed wheat. It's the wheat from last year. Spring wheat. There are things you got to grease up every day, Pete? Yeah, discs, fan. What, these discs? Yeah. Those? And the fan bearing, and the PTO shaft, wheel bearing, drive shaft and a metering system. They're all daily ones, are they? Yeah. Have you had any issues? Have you broken anything yet? Uh, I got a pipe split and he repaired it, but it kept falling apart, so I had to put a new pipe on yesterday. Where was that? Over here? That one. Oh, down here? He had it break there and he repaired yeah. it with that, but it just kept pulling apart all the time, so I put a new piece of pipe up. Oh, I see. These uh, sleeves are to stop them rubbing, are they? Yeah, because it's just uh, rubbed on there and that threads on that. Oh, yeah. Ah. Your uh, hinges are holding up then? Yeah, it seems to be cured though. I'll tell you what, should we go and get your rotator on? Yeah, Can yeah. We get ready, because we'll yeah. be alright. We'll, we'll I'll put it on, Char on Charlie's tractor. Yeah, yeah. So you'll have to make the exact load of putting it out on the back of yours. No, no, okay, yeah. Charlie'll have to stop it. Don't oh. break it. <laughs> I'll have to use that GPS, won't I? Oh, what a hard life I'll have. Yeah, well, we're going to line this up first, Charlie. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> All legs. I was saying to Charlie, that white one this morning, fucking hell, he was leading her a dance, he was charging around the yard, she was charging after him. If a cow's having a twin egg, yeah. how would I know? Uh, very, very small calf for a start. Very, very small calf for a start, probably even smaller than that. Yep. And uh, that's about all you'd see. Well, I haven't seen him soft, if I'm honest. I wonder whether to tickle him in and get him to suck while we're here, but he was up and skipping, you know, he's up on his feet like a lamb does, and I thought, yeah, mate, you've got a bit too much energy to a not suck. Hell of a fucking cow with a cow with a lamb suck. Hell of a lot of milk is in, the, in the bags, aren't they? I don't think he's done with it particularly. I'll try to look at the pits and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's at this front corner if I'm on it. Yeah, it looks smaller, doesn't it? Yeah. This this front one here, isn't it? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. who are you? Come on then. Come on. Got a nice little dinky face, doesn't he, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Come on then. Oh, you want to play? <laughs> I got ya. I'm coming. I'm coming. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> What's he up to? It's as far as we got last night. Peter's going to be coming across with a drill that side. Keithy's going to be going outside the front of his farm. We'll get some ride-ons and uh, some looks at the drill later on. I got into here last night and just, uh, well, you've got to have a look at the top here. It is just, this is what happens. The sun gets on it and bakes it and it is literally soft underneath but really hard on top. Had to put the, had to put the power harrow in an inch deeper and this is what we're left with. Just broken the top up a bit. Peter will be able to come through and he'll be able to plant the seed and look at it. it, this, I mean, this is really tough to, I mean, it, we're used to it. This is what we're used to. This is, most of the farm is on this. But um, yeah, it's making the power work hard. So we're out of eco mode and yeah, we're giving it a good bashing. Try and get some sort of till for Peter. If he comes through, it just leaves it too lumpy, leaves seed on top and that's no good. Right, I got her set pretty nice now. Got to get her in there driven hard on this stuff because uh, it's, it's driving a bit harder. So this time we're out of eco, which means the engine's revving a little bit higher. Using a yes, using a bit more fuel. See the farmer, he's heading off. He's, I don't know if you can see him in the background, he's over there. All right, he'll be heading off to Peter's farm to go and spray that ahead of the drills. I think we've got a mixed bag of weather this week. It might shower, it might not. It might be dry all week. They don't seem to really know what's going to happen, but uh, either way, while it's dry, we're going to keep going. I'll give Peter a ring in a minute and see if we've uh, done a nice enough job over there. He's uh, starting his first one round uh, in the fields uh, over the way there. We're on the nice tractor, it's GPS driven. I've got the auto PTO switched on, so you turn your PTO on, press the little button here, it says auto. Comes up auto on the dash. When I get to the end, when I pick my butt, pick my arms up on the button there, it shuts off the VTO, uh, lifts the arms, we turn round, when we press down into the down position to put everything back down in the ground, it, uh, it starts the VTO up and all you've literally got to do is um, yeah, press your button on there to get your line and uh, you don't have to touch anything else. All you've got to remember is uh, you've got to turn your PTO off when you finish because uh, we have had it where, uh, I don't know who it was, but somebody forgot to turn it off set it all down in the shed in the concrete shed and uh, yeah machine started up and all the rest of it uh, bad time <laughs> you gotta be quick on the button turn it off and when I press that button and that button everything comes back to life I take my foot off the clutch always a bit harder driven on the because uh, the uh, the disc would have gone that way, so it's a little bit harder there. Pump our gears up a little bit. 
get to about reading about seven and a half towards 8k uh, which is good we should cover this in no time hey look at this charlie got a new radio thanks charlie i'll listen to that all day it's sunday so um while we're drilling and while we're busy uh we're all in you know we're all at work so uh if they want to <laughs> if we want to spend some quality time they got to come and sit on the tractor are you enjoying it do you like this tractor yeah what what's it doing it's driving itself driving itself yeah it's good isn't it daddy daddy just has to sleep like this i just fall asleep all right <laughs> there we go it's, uh, it's Mother's Day as well today, so uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. Um, especially the farmers' mums. They're the ones doing all the hard work, aren't they? Mummy does all the hard work, doesn't she? Is she the best? Yeah, there we go. Right, it's another day. I'm gonna go and look at the drills. Uh, but first, let me get this old cultivator hooked on. We're over at Peter's farm. We was here the other day and it was really, you know, it was sloppy. Uh, it's been about, it has been a week, literally a whole week since then. Field conditions are mostly good now, but these bottom headlands are a little bit, uh, well, they're just wet. Just on the wet bit. Yeah. The rest of it's good. But the, just the bottom 30 yard, 30 meters is uh, wet. Yeah. And it's not, and it's just because it's on the level of the moor. Yeah. That's okay. all it is. Yeah. Um, I, I think Keith would be able to do it. I think Keith would be able to just drill it. Yeah, it's more. But more, it will yeah. just help it a bit and it will just be a little bit better seabed. Yeah. You can see just where it is, mate. You can see where the water's like. Yeah, these, yeah. they stand out like yeah. a sore thumb, don't they? Right, and, it, and it's just because we're on the level of the moor. That's yeah. all it is. That's right. the, that is the water level, whatever. Sweet. Well, it's been sprayed, so I'll just pull it up. Keith, he'll be here. Um, he won't be here tomorrow, will he? Uh, So most of this is pretty good, but it's these wet sloppy bits here. This is what we want to get up. And all it's doing is picking the nobbles up and clay. It's ridiculous. Once you move it, it dries ever so quick. It's about, yeah, a day and a half before Keithy gets here. So this will just start drying off a bit. He'll come in with his power arrow uh, combi drill, knock it all down, and it'll leave a much better job. You can see here where it's been wet and under here, and this first time round isn't quite so bad, but once he gets into that wet slot, um, yeah, but you, you know what's going. The top crust is dry, so it won't leave much slop on the thing, but it's going to pull up a load of snot and rubbish. So uh, we'll get it all dry where I'm stood as well. You can see it and you can see me sinking in. So underneath there's a load of slop under there. Peter's on the time drill, weaving time drill. I am literally stood right in an old mucky. I actually left that, I didn't power it down. We, we were literally here yesterday, power harrowing. What was happening was the top was going a bit hard and Pete was struggling to cover the seed. So we've power harrowed in front of him. He's just up the way here. It always sods law, it always ends up in wherever we get to film pictures. There's always um, fields we've always filmed in before. You never do some of the others that you haven't seen before. It's just, uh, that's just the way it pans out sometimes. But uh, we've been here before. If you go back right to the very start of the videos, there's one there of uh, Peter drilling. He's literally got, he's got one more bout to do. So we might not get a ride on with him, but we've had a ride on with him before.
got some nice slow-mo shots of Peter. Uh, we're just going to have a little look at the job that he's doing. Now, down in these rows should be some barley. There it is. There's the barley seed in these little slots. Seems to be covering over quite nice. I can't see many seeds on top. We'll, uh, we'll always let the top dry off for a day if we can. Because uh, if you come here with the rolls now and start rolling, all this claggy stuff just picks up onto the rolls and you get one giant mud roll then. Peter's just finished his field, so uh, that was quite lucky we caught up with him then. He's going to head off to uh, a couple of fields we power-harrowed in front of him yesterday. And then after that, I think he's then heading to uh, Peter's farm. And so will Keithy as well. They're, he'll head there and they'll both get that drilled up together. So we may even end up with some nice pictures over there. If we get lucky, depends where we are. We're always... We, this this drilling season we've been right away from the action so you haven't seen too much of it but they've been getting on really well and this is drilled lovely give this um, just a day only needs a day for the top to dry off and Charlie will roll this down and it will roll down beautiful I can see it already that job. that's a better job that's, uh, much better job. So you're on John Honours next and then up to Peter's tomorrow? Oh, or seems, Peter's I, later on maybe if you... Well, yeah, I've got, what's happening with the T-junction? It's going to get spring timed later on. So I'm not drilling that today? No, that'll be uh, last. Yeah, I might get up yeah. all today then. Yeah. Drill's been going alright Pete? Yeah, so far. Weather's come back for a day, isn't it? At the moment. <laughs> nice at the moment. They say it's going to be single figures they, later on in the week. Yeah, they say it's going to come cold. Low single figures, so we want coats back on. Ah.